Warning, this project is for those 18 years of age and older. Use caution with chemicals, use in a well-ventilated area, and use protective gear. Today, we're going to take a look at etching glass with chemicals. You're going to need a glass object to etch, gloves, etching cream, tape to mask your project, a rub-on stencil or sticker, a foam brush, a stir stick, and running water. The first thing to do is apply your stencil or sticker. Any covered areas on your glass will remain unetched. Make sure it's well adhered to your glass. Then, using painter's tape or frog tape, mask the edges of your project. The etching cream is a liquid and it can run and drip. Make sure to protect your work surface and cover any areas it may leak onto. When applying your tape, make sure it sticks well so you get clean lines around your project. It should look like this when you're done. Next, make sure to mix your etching compound. If it isn't mixed properly, your final etch will look kind of sloppy. Also, this is for smaller projects like picture frames and mirrors. Don't try this for large things like shower doors. Your final mix should look like this. Did I mention the strips? Apply directly to the glass with your sponge brush. Dabbing is better than swiping. You want to achieve an even coat if possible, and again, this is to avoid splotches on your final project. On a side note, this is for glass only and not acrylic. Also, if you're going to use it on plates and glasses, make sure you use it on the outside of the glasses or the underside of clear plates. Your finished application should look something like this. Now set it aside and wait. Some directions say it only takes a minute. I always wait 20 minutes for maximum etching. It helps to make sure that all areas have had maximum exposure to the chemicals. Next, take your project over to your sink and rinse off your etching compound. Use your gloved fingers to remove any of the excess. Make sure to clean your sink once you have finished to avoid cross-contamination with food. Do not put used etching compound back into the container. It will contaminate the rest and render it useless. Next, you want to gently dry your project. Remove the masking tape. You should be able to see where the etching begins at this point, and then remove the rest of the tape and dry again if you need to. You can now take off your gloves and peel off your sticker or stencil. Once it's off, you're done. If you're a cool person and would like to join our community, hit subscribe. If this has been a helpful video, hit the thumbs up button to help other people discover it. If you have a question or comment, leave it down below. And that's it for this week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.